as you may have noticed uh, these days, uh, there are less and less people uh, standing behind cash registers and there is more uh, self-checkouts. So, of course, you may have noticed like Costco, uh, they have these in place and people who don't buy a whole lot of uh, stuff, uh, they go there and you know, buy nice stuff. But also, like uh, dollar stores, they seem to uh, also have adopted these uh, you know, the self checkouts uh, thing that they have no cashiers at the register. So you just walk in and buy what you want. You just scan everything. You just walk out there. Although there are people who do work there, the staff members who could help help you but they're the only the ones who are like restocking everything or you know there's no, nobody behind the register you just step up to the register you just scan your items you just pay cash or like swipe your uh, you know Chip in with your debit card or credit card or you know if you have a debit or ta credit that uses tap function you do do you just do do that you uh, you know bag your own items uh, you, you know and while you do that you place uh, certain items on on uh, next to the register where they, they actually detect that you actually did, you know, scan that at them. Because uh, if you didn't, uh, you know, they'll, uh, they'll think, oh, you stole this. And then at the exit, they'll go, the check uh, point, that thing will go beep, beep on all that. And although it does uh, get hard for uh, items that do not have a barcode, uh, which, when it comes to grocery stores, which several grocery stores have been, uh, some Lava Loss uh, brand uh, grocery stores have been uh, adopting this process as well. So while there is uh, more, uh, no, still cashiers behind registers, there are some self checkouts now. Even uh, Metro. That company has also uh, adopted that program, uh, self checkouts as well. So they uh, have like some, like like up to like six, like four to six. Uh, they have like self checkouts, and people just step up and you know. So same process, just scan your items or if if they're. The item that doesn't have a barcode and it's like maybe it's like groceries like you know you know just you just put them on the right of the scanner and then they just or you have like uh, someone come over sometimes that uh, they will have an attendant uh, just standing by uh, so okay uh, scan that okay and then just Because these uh, items are like like certain amount of uh, money per kilos or most commonly pounds. And then you have to put them on the next to uh, the, where you're putting like everything to actually uh, approve that you did scan that item or you know and then some places of course like you have a membership card you got to scan that too and you know and then there's like places like Walmart which they have adopted this a lot so they uh some uh it's like Walmart though uh Mostly in the bigger uh, places that they have like uh, they have they do not have a uh, no so it's all all debit or credit 
they all switch into that. So 10 items are less, uh, one section, 20 items are less. So they separate you in uh, two sections and you know, you just step up, you know, you would scan items and you use your card. So yeah, there's uh, no uh, cash thing. So uh, if you wanted to uh, go pay cash, you have to wait a super long line over where there's actually uh, people behind the register. And you may have heard of maybe like last year that there was the, the Amazon uh, grocery store, uh, which this is only like mostly in the USA though. So you just walk in, so, so you just pay with your Amazon account or however that works over there though. You just, uh, as soon as you grab something off a, a shelf, uh, it could be just about anything on a shelf, even the groceries. Uh, you just grab one item. No matter how many quantities it is, uh, it, it gets added to your purchases, and you know. And if you put it back, and, and then it gets canceled out of your you know, payment list, uh, and then, and then there's no register or anything. You just walk out, just walk straight out, and then it's all online paid uh, through your Amazon account so yeah that's how apparently how it says that so as Saturday Night Live, Night Live they did a skit you know they actually went to uh, Amazon uh, grocery store and so it's like that you just you know go there grab grab a couple of items and then you just walk straight out you know just put your items in a basket or you know you walk straight out I don't know it's like everything's all like online payment these days and because everyone wants to go like online and this could probably because uh, people are like so tired of like you know people just, just go around uh, and they don't like, want to go buy things but they just hate the hassle of like you know dealing with so many coins in your wallet and how many okay I got bills but how many coins do I have do I have the right coins and they just pull out everything and of course uh, there's these there are also apps like they're like uh, Apple Pay and then there's also some foreign ones like uh, China had like like WeChat Pay or something and uh, South Korea has a uh, Kakao Pay so it's everything is online you know, on your uh, you just download it and you just uh, all your money off your bank account you just transfer it over to your app and yeah you just pay it off through uh, the app so just you need your smartphone and then just the scanner thing uh, that's uh, on the self checkout, you know, you, they just scan it right there, and then, yeah. But only at uh, some places that actually support these uh, these certain apps, like because some places do not have uh, Apple Pay, uh, Amazon Pay, or WeChat Pay, or you no. Know? And there was apparently some other uh, Chinese uh, payment app. Uh, forget the name but you know most Asian uh, grocery stores do uh, accept that uh, or cacao pay uh, yeah so you won't really see that so did uh, that that franchise really needs to uh, approve that we do accept these uh, e-payments so you just scan with your phone and you know with the scanner And some people uh, do still need to uh, have both, uh, utilize both 
cash and uh, debit credit because of course some places uh, of course uh, having like a you know debit credit uh, system uh, that is like uh, pretty expensive uh, so there are some places that they only accept uh, cash only so And then some places that uh, it's only a uh, debit credit only. And then there may have been uh, some places that you uh, commonly go to that will like, used to accept like both systems like you no, know, both cash and credit. No, no. This, this could be more uncomfortable, especially for most uh, some people who cannot afford to have uh, payments, uh, like like online uh, payments. And all they wanted to just pay uh, in the simple cash. But this uh, can be an inconvenience for some. And while it may be easier, and everything's so digitalized these days, not everything uh, that is uh, digitalized these days is a good thing. And this could just make things. Uh, Easy for some, harder for some.